The Philippines is now among the Southeast Asian countries with novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV after the Department of Health confirmed the first case in the country on Thursday. The virus, likened to severe acute respiratory syndrome, originated from the central Chinese city of Wuhan late last year although the spread of infection has ramped up in recent days. Ban, quarantine on arrivals from China urged. Calls for a travel ban on people traveling from China mount as Senator Riza Hontiveros calls for a 30-day ban in light of the first confirmed case in the Philippines, a 38-year-old woman from Wuhan in China. Our travel ban must firmly include both air and sea travel to prevent a local outbreak. This includes a temporary ban on all cruise ships from docking at any of our ports, she says. I also urge the Bureau of Quarantine to implement mandatory quarantine to all those who have just arrived from China, to remain vigilant and to study the safety measures of our neighboring countries with confirmed cases of NCOV. Earlier, Senate President Pro Tempore Ralph Recto also urged a temporary travel ban. Health Secretary Francisco Duque III earlier Thursday indicated he would recommend a ban on arrivals from Hubei province only. Chartered Macau-Cagayan flight suspended over NCOV risk The Cagayan Economic Zone Authority has ordered the suspension of all chartered flights from Macau and other parts of China to the Cagayan North International Airport in Lao Lo, Cagayan, the star's Victor Martin reports. Jaza Administrator and CEO Raul Lambino said the suspension of all Macau, China Law Low flights is meant to prevent the spread of the 2019 NCOV. The Philippine Registered Royal Air Charter Service Inc. has been operating the Macau Law Low route since August last year when the CNIA began its international chartered flights, transporting mostly Chinese tourists bound for various resorts destinations in Santa Ana, Cagayan. Duki to recommend ban on travelers from Hubei, China Health Secretary Duki says he will strongly recommend a temporary restriction on travelers from the entire Hubei province of China, after initially balking at the prospect of a ban on arrivals from China. He says the list of places for temporary restriction could expand. We will be waiting for the assessment of the WHO and recommendation whether to add to the list some more to the places that have a higher burden of the NCOV, he says in a press briefing. Declaration as public health emergency of international concern possible if the World Health Organization declares the 2019 NCOV epidemic a public health emergency of international concern, measures to curb the spread of the disease may include travel restrictions, Rabindra Abayasingh, WHO country representative in the Philippines, says in a press briefing with Department of Health officials. He says the specific measures will depend on what member states will agree to, stressing, the aim of the declaration is to prevent the further spread of this disease and to control it as early as possible. Citing the latest WHO figures of 6,065 cases and 132 deaths, Abayasingh says, if you are looking at mortality, you're talking at less than 3% deaths. This is much lower than previous coronavirus infections.